John Dalton, born September six, seventeen sixty six, died July twenty seven, eighteen forty four, in Manchester. He was an English chemist and a metallurgist. He is best known for proposing the modern atomic theory, and for his research into color blindness. Sometimes referred to as Daltonis in his honor. John Dalton was born into a Quaker family. His father was a weaver. He received his early education from his father and from Quaker. Dalton's family was too poor to support him for long, and he began to earn his living at the age of ten in the service of a wealthy local Quaker. When he was fifteen, Dalton joined his older brother Jonathan in running a Quaker school in Kendal, about forty-five miles from his home. Around the age of twenty-three, Dalton may have considered studying law or medicine. But his relatives did not encourage him, perhaps because being a dissenter, he was barred from attending English universities. He acquired much scientific knowledge from informal instruction by John Goff, a blunder philosopher who was gifted in the science and arts. At the age of twenty-seven, he was appointed teacher of mathematics and natural philosophy at the new college in Manchester, a, des- a deserting academy. He remained there until the age of three- thirty-four, when the college's worsening financial situation led him to resign his post and begin a new career as a private tutor in mathematics and natural philosophy. In 1794, shortly after his arrival in Manchester, Dalton was was elected a member of the Manchester Literary and Philosophy Society. And a few weeks later, he communicated his first paper on extraordinary facts relating to the version of colors, in which he postulated that shortage in color perception was caused by di- Discoloration of the liquid medium of the eyeball. As both he and his brother were color blind, he recognized that the condition must be herit- hereditary. Although Dalsiri lost credence in his lifetime, the thorough and methodical nature of his research into his virtual problem was so broadly recognized that Daltonism became a common term for color blindness. Examination of his preserved eyeball in 1995 demonstrated that Dalton has a less common kind of color blindness. A few close friends. As a Quaker, he lived a modest and unassuming personal life. For the 26 years prior to his death, Dalton lived in a room in the home of the Rev. W. w. Jones, a published botanist, and his wife in George Street, Manchester. Dalton and Jones died in the same year, 1844. His daily round of laboratory work and tutorial in Manchester was broken only by annual excursions to the Lake District and occasional visit to London. In 1822, he paid a short visit to Paris, where he met many distinguished resident men of science. He attended several of the earlier meetings of the British Association at York, Oxford, Dublin, and Bristol. In 1793, John Dalton accepted a job at the Manchester Academy. The academy stood on what's now the east corner of the Peace Garden, near Princess Street. This site was then on the very edge of Manchester. Oxford Street ran southeast across open fields. The building was impassive, serving as a reminder of the century's local power. Here, Dalton taught natural philosophy, 
chemistry and mathematics, met others with similar interests and began to put down roots. In 1903, academy moved to York, but the daughter still decided to stay in Manchester. One of the institutions at which Dalton taught in later life also stood here. In 1824, the Mechanics Institution was set up near what's now the north corner of Peace Garden by Cooper Street. As the name suggests, the Mechanics Institution was set up to educate working men, mostly from the cotton and the engineering industries. And give them a basic education in the sciences. It was founded by local industrialists and scientific men, including Dalton. The institution was successful, however, and grew in scale. After Dalton's time, it began the technical school, and later the University of Manchester Institute of Science and Technical on a new site further east. In 2004, UMIST became part of the merged University of Manchester. John came to Manchester at the age of 26, teaching mathematics and natural philosophy at the New College on Mosley Street. He was elected to the Manchester Literary and Philosophical Society at 27, to whom he read his paper giving the first account of color blindness, of which he suffered. During his life, Danton was fascinated by the Earth's atmosphere. This. Result in Dalton studying gases, which would lead him to the formulation of the atomic theory. He speculated that the major difference between atoms was their masses, and was the first to create a table of atomic weights. He died in Manchester on July 27, 1844, although his name lives on John Dalton Street. There is a statue of him in the entrance of Manchester Town Hall, and also outside the Downton Building at Manchester Metropolitan University, on the corner of Oxford Street and Chester Street. There is also a mural in the Town Hall, painted by Ford Maldex Brown, depicting the scientist collecting marsh fire gas for use in his experiments. <laughs>